what did you find in reggae and dub music that you missed in like rock and roll? Yeah, well, I mean, I, I still enjoy rock and roll. I listen to lots of different music, but but what I when I was really, you know, really getting in touch with um, with enjoying dub music and reggae music, um, what did I like about the heavy bass? I liked the um, I liked the sl the slow tempos as well. Um, the the unique vocals and the unique um, you know sound of Jamaican voices. Um, and I like the soul. I like the combination of, of both, like the, the, like a bit of American soul with, with Jamaican reggae, um, some of those early R and B hits versions, Jamaican reggae versions of those. And you know, I just really like the combination. So um, rock and roll was more about the angst, and I think I was just calming down a little bit, and um, less angsty and more positive. Also, the message, you know, it's like there's a lot of good messages in reggae music. So I really enjoyed the, the idea of sharing a good message. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, initially we, we just had some rhythms, and so we were like, hey, let's make it long because we don't have many songs, so we, we, you know, we do these long jams. We don't do that anymore, really. Um, we do have, we do experiment, but yeah, it's all about the songs now. So yeah, there's definitely a message in the in the music, the Black Seeds for sure. I write lyrics, and uh, Daniel Wheatman, our other vocalist, writes like, writes songs as well. And um, we uh, we share our personal experiences, our personal opinions on love, life, death, you know, the classic themes of uh, of all art. Um, and we try to share that with people and um, without being, without preaching and so you must do it like this, we're just saying hey, be responsible, be aware that you're a human being, look after your fellow man and, uh, and woman and just, you know, be a good person. But there's also other themes I sing, like, like uh, the song Strugglers, that's really... Yeah, uh, um, more specific, yeah. yeah. Yeah, um, like where we live in New Zealand has a, a very good standard of, of, of life. Um, I mean, Holland also, a very good high standard of living. Um, and um, it's easy when you're in these places to forget uh, third world countries and developing countries that really have very, very little, um, you know, nothing, literally nothing. And so even though We've had a good some good opportunities and, and um, you know, in our upbringings and where we live, good environments, good opportunities and education, uh, you know, we know that. I know that most people don't have that. And so it's really appreciating that and saying to educated people, you know, like, what are you, what are you going to do to help the situation around the world, in Africa or uh, Indonesia or, um, you know, just everywhere, America even. Like, what, what, what can someone that is has been is you know been to a university, does have a job, does have you know have all the things that we all want. What are they going to do about people that are struggling around the world? What am I going to do about it? So one of one thing I can do about it is write about it, and hopefully a good message. It's just saying, it's saying don't forget that there are people struggling every day, dying, children dying, and it's, it doesn't mean to be cliche or, or preachy. It's it's just a reality. It's saying, what can we do about it? Take some responsibility. Yeah.